Hello, hello everybody. What is going on? It is the Twin CA. Welcome back to another beautiful Sunday. We are back in this motherfucker. Welcome, welcome. So this is going to be a collective meaning whatever comes out. This is not based on zodiac sign. This is not a personal reading. So don't take it personal. Once again, this is going to be a collective reading meaning whatever zodiac sign, like I said, falls out, falls out. If I see certain zodiac signs, I will say them. But this is not a zodiac sign reading meaning any energy whoever is watching this is the energy that we're picking up on once again this is the energy that i'm currently picking up on for this collective fucking reading okay so i'm gonna go ahead and bless up this table first mm, y'all some of that good shit i just have my nails done i don't like it i don't like it but you know what it's okay it's okay and i put my butterfly up on here because i love butterflies those are my angel ancestors and i'm even though i'm not wearing my butterfly uh, pendulum right now I got butterflies all around me right here. So thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing me and everyone in this collective reading. We're to them say people. Please bless everyone who's reading this and make sure no one sends me any negative energy regarding this. I'm going to take a little sip of my mint water. Guys, to stay hydrated, y'all. Okay, so where am I starting off with first? I think I want to do an Astral Realms message first. I know I usually do it at the end. I want to do this in the beginning for y'all guys. Okay, I want to do this in the beginning. Kind of lay it down, y'all. I'm laying, I'm laying it down. I'm laying it all down. Okay, so Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. What is the main message here for this collective reading regarding all 12 zodiac signs? Whatever messages are coming out from the universe to this beautiful collective energy. Please show all 12 zodiac signs what they need to know. Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Spirit. First one, it says introspection. This is number 15. You got fluorite out here. And then we also have, what's the other message here? What's the next message? We're going to get two of these. Transcendence. Transcendence. It says moonstone. Okay, so y'all got transcendence and then y'all got introspection. You got 15 and then you got a number one. You got ones and fives. On the bottom, y'all do have the healing card. I want to take, I'm going to take that. And then I guess we can do four. It says momentum with pyrite at the bottom. So you got a, you got spiritual quartz and then you also have moonstone, fluorite, and then y'all got pyrite. So I'm going to do four of these. I'm going to do four. I'm not just going to do two. I'm not going to be lazy in this video, y'all, for y'all, because y'all know what time it is. And do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe on my videos, you guys. Okay? Y'all put the work in. I'm going to keep working harder for y'all. All right. The first card we got was in, into perspection. That's number 15. Then we got a 1, a, tw a 33, yeah, and a 24. All right? So let's read number 15 here. Yeah, I got to read from the book because this requires me to do so. So let's see here. Number 15. 15. What is the message here for the collective on number 15? Here we go. And it says, introspection is an essential part of your self uh, activism and spiritual progression. So a lot of y'all, y'all going through introspection. This kind of reminds me like the hermit card because the hermit is someone who takes the time to heal to do the work to put in the time to understand what they do and where they going in their life and what they need to basically work on so they can heal so they can work through their fears they can get over things and then they they could basically you know do what they need to do in the spiritual realm down here and they can stop making fucking excuses it says take the time and space to look within to examine emotion thoughts strengths and weaknesses addresses the grievances or uh accommodations and ask yourself questions as a way to check in so a lot of y'all need to check in on on the download with yourselves and take some time out just giving like four swords the hermit energy i wouldn't be surprised if we see that in this general reading for this collective right here and then we got number one with the transcendence number one number one it said, your soul craves for you to remember the karmic lessons you have been taught in the past life so you can advance through your soul cycle and eventually reach the level of transcendence where you no longer need to learn these karmic lessons. Instead, your soul will ascend to a divine council of light to teach and guide others on how to reach their own state of transcendence. 
So a lot of y'all basically with this transcendence card, y'all learn karmic lessons. And now because you learn these lessons, you're no longer repeating those patterns. That's what the introspection is kind of showing you guys that y'all need to heal. And with this transcendence, y'all learn that lesson. So now y'all healing and y'all in this in this one energy because one talks about divine guidance energy as well. Okay, and then we got number 33 and then we got 24. Three plus one is four. One plus one is two. Just saying. All right. So I got to look into that. Okay, but like I said, a lot of y'all have learned these karmic lessons and y'all channeling a lot of better energy. And then we got the healing card, 33. That's how we wait in the back here, but we're going to find it. 22, 28. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. 31, 30. It's all the way in the back. Healing. Healing is an imperative part of your soul's journey for your human experience. You were born with a figurative scars where your soul was previously wounded or experienced heartaches or loss and or these scars will help you understand where you are the most vulnerable. You will likely suffer in these particular areas in your life even though you didn't cause the wounding. If you have to begin to notice or experience these patterns of pain, it is time for you to address them so you can begin your healing journey and understand yourself for a more deeper spiritual lesson or level. Y'all basically need to go on this healing journey so y'all can do the transcendence, y'all can introspect, and y'all can take the time to get over whatever was in your past will not you know presume in your future y'all don't want to be doing that shadow work journal and then keep redoing and redoing and redoing it like i've been mean, a lot of people talk about that shadow work journal help me but um what did you really learn are you really using what that journal is fucking teaching y'all because i got the journal i did it my dance up and i'm like shit i already knew this what else you can't you cannot perpetuate something in your future if you stuck on the past collective and a lot of y'all need to really heal and mend these things with these people it's 2024 baby we're not trying to be back in 1990 we're not we're not on that shit i ain't on that shit so hopefully i'm gonna take a sip for that but hopefully you guys ain't on that when you guys are dwelling on these wounds as you guys get older and learn hopefully you guys are 18 up and watching this because it's really for 18 and up not for fucking children go watch coco melon the same um like i said the third three healing is imperative for y'all to do in the healing y'all gotta heal every day healing don't stop you gotta heal on the day you gotta heal mentally physically emotionally spiritually you gotta heal through your karma and lesson you gotta heal other people you heal when you start healing you start glowing and you start remembering who you are and then you start triggering people because you you done the work you've healed and let's talk about momentum with 24 and then we're gonna go ahead and start pulling in some tarot I'm gonna start pulling some tarot. This reading already getting good collective. I am so proud of y'all that y'all taking the, the time to do this shit. Like I said, it ain't easy. It's not easy. Momentum. Keep moving forward. Look, small steps towards the goal, or is it just as poor as large bounds? Momentum is somewhat like a snowball effect in order to take the time of the energetic flow of multiple small actions will build and build, perhaps under the surface or in plain sight. Maintain a deep seat. See the trust that your actions combine with the universe's attractions, power, and propelling you towards your goals. No matter what stage you were in your journey, find a reason to keep progressing rather than find a reason to quit. You never know how close you may be to the big next surge forward to your life. Exactly. Do not give up. Spirit said momentum is here to, to tell y'all, listen, even if it seems like nothing is happening, something's always happening. It may seem like it's quiet, but sometimes quiet is the loudest thing that you need to pay attention to. Listen. Silent speaks, quiet speaks. When someone is quiet, that's speaking too. That's a form of sign language. <laughs> it truly is. Listen, if someone's not saying something, there's either two reasons why spirit didn't want them to, or it ain't the time. Or truly, maybe because they ain't got you in their mind. Okay, and spirit's like, this ain't for you. And you need to move your ass somewhere else. But of with this momentum, y'all need to keep taking the action, keep pushing forward. It don't stop, never stop cannot be stopped i don't stop so i don't see why y'all stopping okay so i'm gonna go ahead and move these cards up here so i can have a little bit more space on this table like i said y'all gotta keep pushing forward y'all gotta keep making progress collective because it's it's there and it works for y'all if y'all want to get a car y'all can do it but y'all gotta get your license for y'all gotta go down to the dmv and take those steps y'all can't do that oh, i got a car boom i got a car but you can't even drive that damn damn thing you even know what the fuck you're doing. Stick shifting off. Just pushing forward, but don't got no plans. Don't got no actions. Y'all got to make that shit happen for yourselves, okay? Small steps first. You listen. You crawl. You walk. You run. And then you start jogging, okay? 
Okay, you don't start jogging and running and sprinting before you start crawling. Baby steps first, okay, collective? What tarot do I'm going to use this Heavenly Bloom tarot deck. This thing been calling out ever since I had it on the skim table. Hopefully, they're all good to go. Yes, they are. I was like, because if not, <laughs> I ain't using this deck. Let's see here, spirit. What is collective? What do they need to know regarding introspection, transcendence, healing, and momentum energy? For my beautiful collective general messages, please and thank you, spirits. Please and thank you. I want y'all to see this crystal. It's so beautiful. I'm going to start posting y'all at this angle because I'm really getting sick and tired of y'all looking at my bed, honestly. I really shouldn't be doing readings off my bed, but I should already know better than that, but y'all know. A little oopsie moments myself. I catch myself slipping, <laughs> and I do it every time. <laughs> I do it every time. I say, not today. <laughs> We're going to turn that shit around. <laughs> so let's see here for the collective reading spirit. What is the first message here? Branch perspective. What they need to know? Look, the devil. That's why. Spirit said, there's some toxic things that y'all still dibbling and dabbling. And collective, you don't got a lot of me. Y'all got to say, that's not for me. Well, don't. that's not for you. Don't take it. Don't try to make something that ain't yours. Okay? Don't try to fit a situation that don't make sense to you because you're going to be getting readings and paying them, paying me for nothing. Don't do that. Do not do that. I want you to pay me for a reason. Pay me because you know this is your shit and you need to get help. Or maybe you need to go get some therapy. And I listen, I tell people all the time, I'm not a therapist, I'm a tarot reader. But if you need to seek higher advice, go get someone with a degree that knows what they're talking about so y'all can make sure it's really for y'all. The devil card is Capricorn energy. We are currently still in Capricorn season. A lot of y'all, this is toxic things and traits that y'all not over. Y'all need to heal. Y'all need to get away from this because whatever this devil energy is, is Capricorn, it is keeping you stuck away from your blessings. It is making you not be able to heal. And you can't seek power through this. A lot of y'all, this is going to be that momentum that I was talking about that's going to push y'all and drive y'all into doing that healing shit. Okay? Being in toxic things can really show somebody some shit. I've seen it. I'm grateful I've never been in it. But baby, I, I try to stay away from toxic people because I can't do that shit. I can't play the mind games. I will not do I will drop you by. Go play with your mom under her basement. That's that cat litter shit right there. <laughs> See here, look. Five of Cups of Spirit say you don't need to be in regret. You don't need to feel no more pain collective. Whatever you need to release, release it. Grudges, wounds, pent up anger right if you want to scream you want to cry you want to curse somebody out listen i know how it feels collective when you sat there and took it for so long and you like i cannot take it no more it's okay to let it out but you got to remember you're fucking human okay you cannot keep take 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 and taking and, and and it's not equaled out you can't take and they don't give nothing you can't give and they don't take nothing that's not how that shit work people give and fucking take okay a lot of y'all could be afraid to start the healing process. Spirit said, you're going to buy the starter. I bet you is after this damn video. Look, the just reverse. Because you ain't getting no justice. There's no justice, no fucking peace. You listen, collective. Spirit said, if you really truly want a six of cups, I talked about your childhood. A lot of y'all, some of these things from your childhood is coming up. Maybe someone in the family did something to you and you was quiet about it. That shit is true. People do discussing things to their family members all the time, and no one hears about story. But guess what? People are, are speaking up now, collective. And someone does something to you, and you know what's wrong. Or every time you bring your kid around that that person, they don't want to talk to them, or they don't want to hug them. Don't force them to do that. That shit's nasty as fuck. I'm gonna say it's six of cups. Let's talk about your childhood. Someone bringing you love and expansion. Okay, you do have people who do care for you, and this could be with that introspection. And maybe your friends, your family members are sitting you down, like, listen, like. You really got to stop dealing with these people where you got to stop doing these things. You don't know how much this damages you or how much this could change your life if you would just to stop and stop being so argumentative. Because when you're argumentative with people and they see that in you, that is a bad sign to look like that is bad as fuck. You see, look, the high, high priest of us, a lot of y'all don't feel like high priestesses or maybe you feel like your intuition is off. Because that devil card is the first card that came out here. Let's see what the message is here. Look, the Queen of Cups. Y'all been got a lot of reversal. One, two, three, four. Y'all got a lot of reverse energy. 
I'm glad I did this fucking reading. Queen of Cups of Words. That means that a lot of y'all don't don't be loving on yourself. The way y'all posted. Well, maybe this is people towards you who they don't got a lot of love for you, collective, and you like, I don't got people there from listening. You need people, but not in the way you think, collective. Yes, you need people to be in your life, but listen, the bet listen. What did I say earlier though? What did I say earlier? I just split this deck. Bet the fuck not. And then I say, I said, I can guarantee you that's hermit energy with interprospection. And here it is. Look, in the five of pentacles, you need to cut corners a little bit here, collective, and leave people out in the cold because you need to heal, you need to focus, and you need to re repent and prevent yourself. Okay? End of perspective. That's Virgo energy. You need to have that end of perspective. You need to have that self discovery. Be a little selfish here. Ask yourself, is it really worth it? If it's not, let them go. Let them go. The high priest is reversed. Just a reverse. Five of cups reverse. You got all these reversals. That means that you're not participating in things you are supposed to be healing and doing things that are, are higher energy. You low vibrational right now. Collective really is. Okay? You got to leave these people out in the cold. They do not fuck with you on that heavy ass level. Look, six of pentacles. You went from a five of pentacles now to a six of pentacles. A lot of y'all, like I said, this is like family members, or maybe you do have someone who care about you, but like nine of wands, ten of wands, and I was with the day. You got a lot of baggage on your shoulders, collective. Okay? A lot of baggage is is on your shoulders, on your plate, and you just take, 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 take it. Y'all about to bust. Y'all about to bust. Look, the six of swords are burst. Spirit said, you don't even need to hide it. It's all in your face, collective. People could people could tell that you're irritated or something is up with you. People could tell. Because you gotta you gotta tell. Everyone gotta tell about themselves like when they irritated. Me, yeah, I had to say that shit. Like, yes, I'm irritated. Yes, I'm mad. Now what? We're gonna do resolve it. Some of y'all, y'all are afraid. I see Virgo, Taurus, Libra energy, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Look, seven of wands. And some of y'all look nine of wands, seven of wands. Look, I'm taking both of these. Y'all are guarded as hell. And y'all got a lot on your plate, but y'all just trying to protect yourself. And I don't blame you, collective. But like I said, being argumentative with this person or dealing with these things ain't gonna help. If it's a baby daddy, baby mama, it really don't matter. If it's a friend or a friend member, it really don't matter. You gotta start the healing process and stop acting like it's everyone's fault. Some of it may have been their fault. Like if it was like someone did something to your children, then that's different. You know, maybe, maybe someone somewhere it slipped up and you didn't catch it and you know things happen in, in the family i get it catastrophes and all but listen judgment three of cups seven of swords it is time to make that change nine of swords it is time to him make that change for because if you don't you're gonna stay guarded and you're gonna stay stuck on that old shit and you never gonna get past look look you're never gonna get past you always gonna be in your head you always gonna feel like everyone is out to fucking get you they all the boogeyman Ain't no one here trying out to get you, collective. But shit, if you're gonna be in the seven nine of ones, you might as well cut your your, your eggs loss, okay? <clears throat> Let you cut your looses, all right? Cut your ends with this shit. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I'm bad. I thought over here. I enough. I'm gonna go ahead and use this yin yang oracle deck to see what other messages are here. Like I said, this is gonna be a very very general collective. Very general. So, look, cycle change and motherfucking completion. Mm. I'm gonna let that one come out though. I'm gonna let it come out all the way. Like I said, a lot of y'all are completing cycles and ending things. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really gotta like stop playing with yourself like that. Hey, y'all gotta be on your big girl, big boy behavior because if not, I wasn't in my nose. Let y'all know I was, I was just scratching the top of my nose, y'all. I am human, okay. It's my business. Let me see here. What's going on here? For this collective reading, overall energy. Please give me four cards, spirit. Look, assistance, spiritual guidance. A lot of y'all got spiritual guidance and assistance coming because spirit already know you can't do it alone. And you don't need to do it alone, but you're going to go in the hermit mode and you're going to learn some things today. Or you're going to learn it the hard way. Look, soul ties of reunion. It was in reverse, but I don't usually take these reverses. This is you dealing with your your um your your twin flame, or maybe you are in a reunion with a soul tie with someone who cares about you. That could be that six of cups and the six of pentacles. I see nine, seven, sixes, fives. Look, fate, detours, divine intervention. Spirit said you are you are fated to do something here, collective. You got divine interventions all over this. 
Spirit is not trying to play with you, collective. Look, third eye and fucking clarity. Bam. Like I said, the truth going to be exposed. Your third eye is opening. You realizing that you can't keep staying stuck on this past shit. You got to open up your mind. You got to see the truth. Even though the truth hurt, but at least it's, it's there. Look, chemistry and passion. Look, what I say, twin flame at the bottom. Okay, you got a lot of chemistry and compassion towards a, a person that may or may not be good for you. And that's understandable. But that don't mean you're going to be with this person that is mean they in your in your life. Or maybe you're going to give yourself this chemistry, this compassion, and this passionate energy and love yourself. And stop holding back and really be about yourself. Look, Ace Earth towards Capricorn. I see Earth energy out here at Heavy. Earth and Water. I see Earth and Water energy. Earth, Air, and Water a little bit of fire a little bit of fire look spy watching into perfection you could have people watching you or maybe you've been feeling like you just been being watched all the time let's get some guardian angel messages and i'm gonna close it up with the archangel power and that's gonna be it collective this really is gonna be it like i said this reading was very 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 collective truly was it was truly fucking divine Get some messages for this collective reading spirit, please. And thank you. Regarding, they need to know. I'm only going to take two cards from this deck. Let's see here. Look, the star card, inspirational fulfillment and faith. A lot of y'all, y'all are a star. Y'all need to wish on a star, make a wish, and act like you is a star because you are inspirational. You got the power. You are gonna have fulfillment. You pouring in to your own river. Listen, but the only problem, sorry, my bad, y'all. The only problem is with some y'all is y'all don't know how to pour into your own river because you so ready to pour into somebody else. Stop pouring into people when you need to pour into yourself. Have faith. Have compassion for yourself. Learn yourself. Love yourself. Look, six of wands. Success, recognition, self-esteem. A lot of y'all, maybe you feel like you don't love yourself, but you need to start with that self-esteem. Y'all need to start picking yourselves up. Don't wait until your ex come around and start talking about, oh, I miss you. You know, fuck that bullshit. If they don't get it right the first time, that'll be the last time. There is no second chances. Not everyone truly deserves your answers or your clarification. Sometimes hitting that block button is the fucking answer collective, and you just need to let that shit roll over your head and be like, stop it being your feelings. Get out your feelings, get in your bag, and do your healing. Okay? The fuck? Ain't no one finna sit here and play with y'all. Look, three of air. Sorrow, forgiveness, and healing. <laughs> I'ma take it. I might as well just pull one more. Y'all in the three of swords, y'all. Y'all need to have forgiveness, and y'all really need to let go. Let go and let God. Okay? You're gonna have success. You're gonna be recognized for all the things that were made wrong. Look, ace of air, inspirational communication, adjustments. All right. You just got to make adjustments and pick your head up. Just like this little boy, he's going through this winter storm, but his angel's right there with him. They communicate with him. They telling him, you just need to adjust yourself. Pick your head up and adjust your energy and stop feeling alone. You're not alone here. Yes, you may feel alone, but you're not alone on this journey. This journey just feel lonely. And sometimes the lonely journeys be the one that no one want to work through. But hey, it's 2024, baby. We don't got the time to be going through a, a whole whole spiritual awakening for nothing. Then you act like you didn't learn no lesson. Then you just keep repeating patterns. Because you say you learned the lesson. Then you do it all over again. Then you write back where you started. A one day one. And then you sitting here asking me, why is this happening? Well, what did you learn? Did you truly learn the lesson? Or are you just saying that because you just want to hear that? Because some people truly ain't learned their lesson. And they still currently going through them. Because spirit's like, hmm, let's see what you learned last time. When we put this motherfucker in front of your face. And you said you wasn't going to give them no goodies. And you still did it. And now look at you. You at the hospital with a plan B. Shit. Or plan C and D. And you still got that baby on the way. And you didn't even want it. But you had it regardless. So shit. I mean, I'm not one to judge. But just saying. Or maybe you told someone, hey, listen, I'm not ready for no relationship. And then you got with them because, you know, they was just doing nice stuff. But that don't mean you got to get with this person. You say you're not ready. Just don't be ready to hop into something. Don't be a people pleaser either. Okay? So let's get some final closing messages for this reading spirit, please. And thank you. And that will do it. That's going to that's gonna be it, y'all. That truly is going to be this reading. <clears throat> All right, spirit. So please give the beautiful collective the ending message for... This collective reading, please and thank you. Please and thank you.
What is the first message here? Look, nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. And you can expect to have beautiful things in your life. You can be expecting more and more things to happen for y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. This thing a little big on me, but it's okay because it's so cute. It's so cute on me. Let's see, last message here. What's this one? A uh, two of my folks. It will be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyze the problem. Finding a compromise. Compromise. Okay, look, solutions. You're going to find a solution. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. What the fuck I've been saying? The fuck? All of this shit talk about healing and forgiveness. Y'all, that's going to be the collective reading. Healing and forgiveness, what you all need to work on. Okay? As a motherfucker. So that is going to be all. Thank you. Thank you guys so very much for letting me uh, be your guys' tarot reader for the entire week. My name is Intuit MCA. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe underneath my fucking videos. Once again, I will see you guys next time. Stay blessed, stay bunny, and stay intuitive. Goodbye, Intuit MCA people.